What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Here we are with the top five ways to make it to the lighthouse on your own. And yeah, I don't really mean on your own. You're not 1v3ing everybody, but hey, you're going to have a team of three, whether it be your friends or whether it be random guardians that you meet up with, and you're going to beast your way to the lighthouse. So let's get right into it. Now look on your screen. What am I doing? Before the match starts, I hit the roster page. I go to the other team and I start telling my teammates exactly what the other team is made up of now what do i mean inspect your opponents and see their light level their character builds their subclasses and most importantly see exactly the weapons that they're using that'll give you a great insight on exactly how that opponent is going to play for example, if someone has a sniper rifle, obviously they're just going to stay back and watch the sniper lanes. They're not going to rush you. But if they have a shotgun, they're going to most likely be rushing you, which gives you the upper hand because you can anticipate it and then bait them with your teammates, killing them right in their tracks. So that's the most important thing. And we said that pretty much right before the match even started. That's why I hope none of you guys skip forward and you were like, wait, why is this guy floating in to the light or not the lighthouse, but the burning shrine map this guy should be showing us some gameplay well i showed you that so i could tell you guys that i'm literally talking in my mic letting my teammates know exactly the way the other team is built all right which is very important to know what supers they have what subclass see grenades you'll know what to expect it's very important it gives you the upper hand and trust me not every team's does this is very important and we do it and that's why we're so freaking successful in getting to the lighthouse um that and obviously there's many more reasons which i'm going to get to here some of them at least so the next reason number two would be let the first round pretty much test how your opponent is going to play the reason why i say that is the way your opponent is going to play is really it really is determined by the success that they have in the first round if they come and they kill you right they will most likely do the same exact thing the next round thinking you're going to do the same exact thing it's so common to see that in trials of osiris so many times you have the same deaths over and over again happening on the same parts of the map look at me i'm pretty much doing the same thing that i did because it worked i messed up on my jump yeah but still i'm doing that now they probably anticipated that too now it can go reversal as well for example if you kill the team the first round really easily right don't pick that route as the second round's route pick a different route and you'll catch your opponent off guard all right it's very important to win the beginning rounds because pretty much the team that wins the beginning rounds will mo most likely be much closer to their super when it comes time for those super rounds in let's say round four or five now number three right be verbal about special ammo and your team's supers special ammo is so important in trials of osiris you guys i cannot say this enough please make sure at the end of the round you are running your fat ass over to the special ammo crate and getting that special ammo not only for you but your team as well now think about it you just killed the other team could possibly have killed them before the special ammo even came up so they don't even have it but you killed them now they don't have any special ammo or they have less special ammo than you giving you much more freedom and if they run out then they're pretty much screwed i mean they could still play far you know play back but it's still much more difficult when you don't have special ammo let's see go to number four double and triple team the motherfucking guy who's running by himself i can't tell you how many times now you guys are looking on the screen it's me and my brother we're carrying a viewer to the lighthouse i can't tell you how many times my brother and i will split up we'll have the viewer be with one of us while the other person splits up and gets a different angle for example exactly what you saw i went from behind on the screen and i killed the guy it's so important to keep all of that in mind when doing a Trials of Osiris. Just double, triple team the guy going by himself and then you'll have an advantage. And the last thing I want to tell you guys is save your freaking mercy for game 7, 8, 9. It's so important to win those early games. If you get a loss really early on, just restart your card. Don't worry about it. Having a mercy in the last three or four games is so, so important. So make sure you guys do that. And please come over to our stream. The description below has the links. Come, we help in Trials of Osiris and raids. Everything that you can imagine imagine follow us on twitter it's very important follow us on twitter you'll know when we go live and when videos go live and we'll see you in the next video guys thank you guys so much for the love and support peace out